Hello and welcome! In this tutorial, we're going to use a photodiode or a light detector and we're going to use it with the voltage divider circuit you see on your screen to make a self-calibrating glow-in-the-dark circuit. Now, this isn't particularly difficult. In effect, it uses the same code that that potentiometer uses. As you can see, I'm going to turn this potentiometer, the light's gonna get brighter, dimmer, brighter, dimmer. If I take it out and replace it with this photodiode, clunk, there's gonna be some type of an effect. Dimmer, brighter, as you can see, if I touch it, yeah, there you have it. I think it works better with the negative plugged in, the shorter leg plugged into the positive. As you can see, the variances are getting wilder. So I'm going to leave that in, and I'm going to start thinking of ways that our light here, because it's in sort of bright conditions, is going to be at zero. Let me have a think about how we can get that done. Now, when we start, we can take a light reading and uh, quite simply that reading, at that light reading, the LED should be zero. So I guess we could call it like default value and default val. And we're gonna call that, we're gonna set that default val to zero initially and when we start I'm gonna say default val equals to zero so that way maybe I can also you know give it just make a small delay at the start so it doesn't quite get too much of a kick, so to speak. So right now, we're going to record this default value. And the goal is inside this analog right that we're going to have this reading, this right there, that that's going to turn to zero or one or really, really low when um, the light conditions from the moment the circuit went on remain the same. So I'm just going to have uh, another variable here and I'm going to call this LED power. And we're going to set LED power to zero. And right here, since LED power is what we're interested in, we can print that. And we can... write that in here. Now, what is LED power actually going to be? Well, the neatest way to do it is if we just have a um, set of readings here. When I shade that, my readings shrink from 900 to 300. And if I turn it the other way around, just curious. Twenty to four. Hmm. It's definitely bigger if I start in reverse. So from nine hundred down to the shortest it can be is probably about 300 and when I let go it's 900. So LED power can be reading minus default val. And just in case we're afraid that this is going to turn out into like a, um, a positive, uh, sorry, a negative value, I can take the absolute value of that. So you're going to see what this LED power is when we run this. But my prediction is 
is that when this code uploads, that LED is going to go off. And when we open up the serial to see the LED power, the LED power is going to be like really low. I mean between zero and three. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. But watch this. Some shade, it gets brighter, 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 very bright. So it really is that simple. Watch what happens when I move this light further and further away. Conditions get brighter, less bright. Brighter, less bright. Pretty awesome. So there you have it. Oh, we're going to try to get it back to zero. One. Eh. Yeah, one and zero. So what you have here is a demonstration of how well voltage divider circuits work. All you need is something that is basically dependent. Sorry, the best way I can put it, something whose resistance changes in line with the variable that you want to measure. So the resistance of this photodiode changes with the amount of light that is on it. You can change the photodiode to a light dependent resistor, straight up, completely different sensor works on completely different principles. If I reopen this, the light's going to be off again. And watch that. Move the light away. It works. So as you can see, the sort of voltage divider circuit is a wonderful thing. You could have put a flex sensor, a temperature sensor, any type of sensor whose resistance changes depending on the value that it's sensing, it's going to work inside a voltage divider circuit. So I'll put a couple of links in the description of this video so you can read up on voltage dividers a little bit more. It is a concept that is absolutely central to all sensing measurement and electronics, so you should understand it well. So in the next tutorial, we are going to get back into our gravity shield and the gravity speaker, and we're going to look at trying to make a light theremin. See you then.